Greetings and hello once again. This here is the Ancient Spirit Tralaka. Well, <laughs> at least in spirit. Today, episode 47. This is going to really <laughs> push the borders. Tonight, I am going to go deeper than ever before in the understandings of the Greys and the Draconians uh, in the aspect of Earth experience on this planet. This particular planet that that is Earth has this unique time cycle sphere of influence to all who come to settle or stay too long without knowing what's in, what's gonna happen. Now uh, this and tonight's talk will be uh, pertaining to a certain older greys uh, who came to explore and later settle on this planet without the knowledge of this planet's time cycle sphere of influence. Now please understand that this uh, most species of greys with an A in this particular aspect of the mul living multi-dimensional universe are well known for having very long lives of hundreds, even thousands of years. Okay, now, like other species who have come to Earth, this changed. Okay, they also got caught up into the Earth's time uh, cycle sphere of influence over time. In this, they aged rather quickly compared, to, <laughs> in their own point of view. Uh, woo! Wow, where did time go? Uh, poof, they're dead. And in a few lifetimes on this planet, they uh, they came back, uh, you no, know, as they were before. But then something started to happen. Something that the Greys and the Draconians and other species didn't expect. They started to come back uh, into this world, into a new life, being born uh, a human being, okay, who had uh, recently at that time been brought upon this planet, uh, engineered onto this planet from uh, some different sources. The first humans died and were being reborn on this planet and also other species were dying on this planet and being reborn as humans. This caused a whole lot of problems for, uh, <laughs> this really enraged the old greys and the other species. Woo! That with all their technology back then, they could not guarantee from one life to another while they're on this planet Earth that they would keep on coming back in that same family blood pool of being a grey or being a reptilian and so forth. <clears throat> now, I need to uh, note here that the old dragons of the Draconian Empire for eons have been known as master builders, combining the old stone masonry with technologies hundreds of thousands of years in advance of the spirit humans uh, here on Earth nowadays. But then again, certain reptilians have also been known to be master builders of stone, but for them, it is tunneling out mountains and even small moons in a matter of this majestic matter of stonework with awe-inspiring jobs that they do. For many reptilians would rather live within a planet or within a moon so they can have that perfect climate that they need for their species. Now, this is something I, I had to insist on adding, okay? Let me continue now. The Greys with an A are long known to also be true masters of building anything, though in the time frame which I am speaking of, there was a split between the uh, master builders and the technically uh, uh, upper, upper chalants uh, who, who do the high tech with the uh, Greys with an A. When the Greys with an A started to come back into their next lives as humans, 
This caused much turmoil among them. So the elders came to a very long time thinking and making a decision, which upon they did, finally, where it is known that the graves with an A is born as a human, they are to be watched as they grow up. If upon this seeing their inner character is being gifted, uh, which is that of true diligence in building and or understanding high tech and or uh, military commanding, they are to be brought into the family as a specific uh, secret family tribes in which over time on earth they would be taught the ancient knowledge of the actual greys or I would have put sub slash here because it could also be uh, uh, certain species of reptilians or certain species of uh, dragon okay let me continue of building governing the humans and certain ones taught the higher technology over these times, these names changed from uh, inner family tribes to that of cult and or secret societies. Though understands here that over hundreds of thousands of years, the same tradition of the greys or slash reptilian or slash some certain aspects of draconian with, 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 uh, uh, who have this history of family here for that for being there that long have been going on watching as young humans are being born so what I'm saying here is all through these hundreds of thousands of years these these certain select species which are not so much human uh, watch and then they call among the humans who they can uh, teach versus who should remain a sheeple okay <clears throat> and as they grow up uh, they, they they look for certain tendencies then the certain ones get chosen to be part of family for their inner spirit true self is still that of an old gray with with an a or a draconian or or a reptilian uh, which they can feel because family takes care of family that is the model that's always been that way please understand that many of these old greys and these other species uh, are not all evil or all wicked they are of different aspects of a species whose culture for the most part is highly governed and upheld strictly so they are very good citizens and neighbors as well as being much more focused than these 21st century humans are today on maintaining a healthy future for their species as best as they can each day each night but now let's get back into the ancient times let's say 10 generations of earth humans had been born <laughs> The first taught knowledge of the gray and these other species, you know, wasn't being starting to get passed on anymore. Uh, and, and humans started making beliefs because they didn't understand the truths anymore. And they started to understand these beliefs uh, taught to the villagers and a rift between the species of humans and not humans uh, was getting hammered into place. Please, please understand that this application has happened here on this planet Earth with her strange time cycle sphere of influence around her which really nailed all this into place. For this also happened to the Draconians who came here and uh, all, also uh, certain Pleiadians and certain Lions and certain Arcturians as they have come you know, from different parts of the, uh, of the universe uh, to this planet. But don't let a few renegade non-human species characters destroy their reputation for the rest of the universe. Man, that's just wrong, okay? Please understand this, my friends. 
those later very violent species who did come to this planet, who were violent in the first place, and caught within the time cycle sphere of influence also. Now, they do not age. Though they cannot leave either, they're trapped in a paradox. They, they're also called the Crosmocrotters. They are not human. They are uh, reptilian. They are not draconians. Okay? They are not draconians. They are a species of reptilians. A lot of times they spend their times uh, in, in the clouds part of the sphere of the planet or in the volcanoes trying to influence the humans so they can find a body to try to take over and actually then walk on this planet and do their evil deeds to convince the humans within and controlling them to harm or kill others and manipulate and so forth. Now this will not change until the Earth's Gaia and the humans break loose of the binding locks the controllers put in place so Gaia and the spirit humans can move into the fourth and fifth dimension, which will move the spirit humans on this planet out of reach of the influence of the very violent species who of reptilians who are locked uh, between here and there. This will bring in, for the first time of hundreds of thousands a year, a starting of trade and business between the old greys, uh, the, at least the ones who are well-behaved, and the draconians, uh, the ones at least who are well-behaved, and earth humans, and so forth. For the fourth and fifth dimensions, the controlling factors of the empire religion will be fading away. Woo-wee! Now, please understand that just because other species on this planet and or universe may look or see, see or be or act different than spirit humans on this planet, this does not mean they're all evil or bad. That is a case of bad programming. You need to rewind the tape and correct that. Because, my friends, please look in how many different shades of humans there are on this planet, how long it took to understand that we are all humans, and to understand that what is evil is pertaining to a precise being. It is not, it is not pertaining to an entire shade of human. Okay? So I tell you this, my friends. Do, do not do the same thing with the, any factions of the gray or draconians or, or reptilians or, and so forth. Because we are better than that. <clears throat> This is the ancient spirit, Trelaka. As always, journey safely. Journey to many worlds. Experience many different species of beings. And learn from their wisdom. And show them our great humor. Good night.